Sebastian? Where have you been? Did you find Stefano? I did more than that. I eliminated him. Good. And Lily? She slipped through my fingers again. I'm sorry to hear that. Any leads? The good news is that I've been in contact with Agent Torres. Her intel has been invaluable. That is good news. So what's the bad news? The bad news is there's someone more powerful than Stefano who wants to take this place over. And he needs Lily to do that. Torres told me you know him too. He's a real smooth talker. Damn. I think I know who you're talking about. I'll send some stuff to your room. That might help. Keep me posted. You know I'm here for you. I know. I trust you, Kidman. Okay. Time to get down to business. O'Neill. It's Sebastian. Come in. Huh. Something's wrong. I gotta try and find him. You should stay here and get your explosives and weapons ready. I'll need your help once I locate Theodore. Is there a way into the Merrill from here? Yeah, there's a Mobius computer in that room. It'll take you to exit 72. Great. I'll call you when I'm ready. Hang tough, Torres. Got it. Good luck, Sebastian. Let me ask you a few more questions before I go. You said Myra was supposed to stay behind and take care of Mobius. How? By using STEM against them. Everyone in Mobius has a brain chip implanted in them that allows them to enter STEM without being affected by it. The chip allows them access and benefits that normal citizens don't have. And you let them put those things inside you? It's not like we were given much of a choice. Myra was supposed to send a signal back through STEM that would neutralize every member of Mobius via their brain chips. Basically like a mass remote control lobotomy. That's one way to solve the problem, I guess. If we don't do it, Mobius will just put Lily back in STEM and kill all of us for mutiny. It's the only way. I can't believe Kidman's behind all of this. She sent me into Beacon. She stood by while Lily was put into STEM. It doesn't seem like her to betray them. You're an outsider, Sebastian. You don't know what Kinman is really like. She had to keep her true self secret all this time so that she could get close enough to strike. But why now? Why not when they were building the new STEM? We need STEM to send the signal to take Mobius down. When Lily was chosen as the core, Myra and Kidman decided it was time to put everything into effect. The way things are going now, this could be our only chance to pull this off. So how did Theodore Wallace get mixed up in this? It was Theodore's idea of sending the signal through STEM. But now that I think about it, he probably just wanted to take over Mobius for himself. Damn it. I knew he wasn't trustworthy. That guy's slippery like a snake. But that's his game. He can convince people of anything. He convinced us that he was here to help us. Yeah. I've known people like that. They always seem like they're your best friend. Until they stab you in the back. One minute I was in a tidal wave of blood in Theodore's hellhole. The next thing I know, I'm in that house with you. I still don't understand how you found me. Me either. I was scouting the area around my safe house for supplies when I heard a girl's voice coming from that abandoned house. I went to investigate. No girl, but you were there. It's almost like I was led to you. A girl's voice? It had to be Lily. But how? There's no telling how or why things happen in here. Stem was already unpredictable before she escaped. But now? <sighs> I stopped trying to make sense of things a long time ago.
Right. Let's hope the marrow is still there. Looks like Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. Hoffman's safe house is nearby. I should check up on her. Hoffman, you here? Another one of these. What happened here? safe house to go to a restricted area of the marrow? It doesn't sound like him. Looks like they had extra security for this place. All these tanks. What's this about? Chips. God damn it.
Indian populace has succumbed already. Our efforts have been in vain. The Corps escaped less than a day ago. Within hours, we began to receive reports of lost emerging in staggering numbers. They're everywhere now. 20% of Union's populace has succumbed already. And they're actively hunting down and killing whoever is left. It's a nightmare. At this rate, there will be no one left in two weeks. We've lost contact with Mobius. We're trapped in here. With the lost. It's too late to stop now. The entire Union experiment is doomed. We're all doomed. <laughs> I'm sorry. here. If they haven't removed this guy's chip yet, I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, thank God he's already dead. I gotta get out of this lab.
cerebral chip. Please wait. Unity cerebral chip detected. Entry authorized. About time. Hope I can still catch up with Hoffman and O'Neill. Listen, listen. His voice will come. You've got to resist him. Hoffman, stand back. No, he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Liam, don't. What do you mean, Liam? Stay back. Stay out of my way, Sebastian. O'Neill, what happened? Theodore showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. A life as a slave? You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! Gotta put the flames out. Don't underestimate me before. Never again. Let the flames consume you. Stop running. Ha <laughs> ha! 
it. I'm done playing with you. That might have stopped me before. You'll never escape me. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Let the flames consume you! I won't let him get away. I promise. You must be cleansed. Out of ammo. Get out of here. He commands that I take care of you. You can either die or change like me. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. I'm not weak anymore, sir. I won't go down easy. Did I hurt you? Sorry, Master. I won't let him get away. I promise. <laughs> you must be cleansed.
now. A soldier. A soldier in his army. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. I'm not weak anymore, Sebastian. I won't go down easy. Good to fight me. It's going to take more than that to stop me. Thank you, it's Sebastian. Uh, finally, free from his voice. From my fears. I was so scared. You've got to stop him. I can't stop him if I can't find him, O'Neill. He face shifted. He's not here. Not anywhere. The machine in the room next door. You've got to destroy it. What machine? He made me build it. To hide him. Destroy it. So that you can destroy him. What happened? How did O'Neill get turned into that thing? I don't know. I've been locked in my safe house since you left. When Liam called and asked me to meet him, I was so relieved to hear his voice. But he wasn't Liam. He was that thing. I tried to get through to him, but you heard him. Theodore Wallace did something to him. Poor guy. I didn't want to have to kill him. You didn't have a choice. Theodore wasn't going to give him up. So what now? Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. Flamethrower. I could use this, but it's broken. If I found the right parts... Never dis- 
disobey. Of course I will. Whatever pleases you. Yukiko, can you hear me? I'm in the fabrication room. Clearances don't mean much when everyone's dead. Just please come and meet me here. I have something to show you. It's important. I'm sorry, Yukiko. But he demands it. So you know Theodore Wallace? Of course. He's head of recruitment. But what's he doing in STEM? Why is he doing this? There's a lot going on that you don't know about. Theodore wants Lily for himself. You saw what he did to O'Neill. He'll do that to everybody in here if he has to. He'll tear this place apart to get his hands on her. I can't let that happen. What is it? I'm not totally sure, but it looks a hell of a lot like the stable field emitter. Whatever it is, O'Neill said to destroy it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know just how. It's me. Sebastian, I'm starting to think you forgot about me. Have you finished arming that cookie dough of yours? I have. Looking for an excuse to use it too. Good. I'm sending you my coordinates. Bring the big guns. We're going hunting. Got it. I'm already gone. See you soon. I'm almost ready over here. Let me know when you're good to go. I need you to clarify a few things for me, Hoffman. You didn't seem surprised to see Esmeralda here. Why should I be? She's a familiar face in STEM. Everybody knows everybody in Mobius, huh? More like I know everybody. I've been in charge of new hire evaluations for years. Like one big dysfunctional family. Esmeralda's the best person to have around in dangerous situations. She's a good soldier. You're damn right I am. I assume you know Myra, too? I do. We work together closely. How could she do this? How could she stand by while they conducted experiments on Lily? How could she tell Lily that I was dead? Myra's maternal instinct is very strong. She joined Mobius to be closer to Lily. And the word experiment is a bit harsh. Lily was treated well, and she was able to interact with her mother on a daily basis. As far as telling Lily you were dead, I believe Myra only did it to protect Lily's feelings. Yeah, well... I believe Myra's maternal instinct has gotten a little bit out of control. Hopefully, you can work this all out as a family when this is all over. I've been into Theodore's reality. If it's a reflection of his psyche, he's definitely got some serious mental issues. That would explain why he's so powerful. And yet he's hiding. Perhaps it's easier to manipulate from the shadows. Well, I'm about to drag him out of the shadows. If what Liam told us was true... There's only one way to find out. I don't know if you should be in here when this thing goes off. I don't think I want to be. There were some interesting items in the other room that Liam was working on. I want to go check and see if there's anything that might be useful. Okay. But then you should get back to your safe house. No telling what will happen in here once we shut this thing down. Will do. Tell me something, Torres. So you knew Hoffman before this? Everybody knows Hoffman. You don't get into Mobius without passing through her office. Can she be trusted? I might have said no before, but nothing like being abandoned by your corporate masters to make you rethink your position. She's trapped in here like the rest of us. Hmm. So you're not sure? Yeah, she's not bad. Just a bit of a cold fish. I have trouble completely trusting people who look at me like I'm something in a petri dish. 
I don't know what's gonna happen when we blow this thing up. Me either. But at least we're being proactive. I don't think we're gonna convince Theodore to leave Lily alone. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who can be talked into doing the right thing. So you're giving me orders to shoot on sight? I'm just saying be prepared for anything. You can't predict what's gonna happen in this place. No offense, but how did someone as smart and headstrong as you wind up in an organization like Mobius? I was a demolitions expert in the army. They loaned me out to Mobius for some black ops stuff. Once my term was up, they came knocking. And you just joined up like that? They were pretty good salesmen. They don't tell you everything when you sign up. I was... tasked with some things that I'm not proud of. They expect you to follow blindly, and... If you disobey, when Myra offered me the opportunity to get out, I had to take it. I've still got some morals left, despite the things that I've had to do. Is that enough to take care of this thing? Like ten times over. And it's ready to go when you are. I'm good to go. I'm going to check out the equipment in the other room. Good luck, you two. Okay, here we go. Operation Kick-Ass happening in three, two, one. <coughs> Are you okay, Torres? Torres? Where'd you? Sebastian Castellanos. You refused to step into the darkness. So you tried to bring me to the light. Your rash decisions have always been your downfall. Come then. I await you. Thank <laughs> you. 
mom never gave up. Not like you. She tried to tell you. But you were too stupid to listen. No. No. No, this isn't right. Anything about me? Myra understood that goals can be achieved by submission, by joining. To find her. Fine. Then come to me. Lily, is it really you? Lily. No! Lily! There she is. Your precious daughter. Isn't this what you wanted? Dad. You let this happen to me. Why didn't you save me? No. Please. I, I couldn't. I wanted to. mistakes of the past, unless you join me. Do that, and I can make your dreams come true. Together we can take Lily from Myra. Once I have the power of the core, you will be truly free. It will take more than bullets to stop me. Will you never learn? You sh shot me. Sebastian, why? No, no. Come on. 
Come on, man. Let's get you out of here. You can't let him get to you. You gotta... You gotta give that son of a bitch some payback. Sebastian? Sebastian? What's, wrong? What's wrong? Are you alright? You've been working, You've been working too, too hard. hard. It's, making it's making you delirious. You delirious. <sighs> Myra? Torres, where? I'm home. How did I? That letter, Myra's last communication, it was hidden with her files. It sounded so crazy at the time, but I should have believed her. My dearest Sebastian, if you've received this letter, then I fear the worst has come to pass. It means that my investigation got too close to the truth. It means that you may never see me again. I'm sorry I kept it from you, but it was to protect you from either the truth or my madness. I've enclosed a copy of my files. I only hope that you never receive them, but if you do, it's up to you to finish what I started. Please, find justice for Lily and for me. I love you with all of my heart, Myra. I'm so sorry, Sebastian. You've endured so much. All this time, all alone. It's my fault. You tried to tell me. But I didn't believe you. And now I'm so messed up. I'm talking to an hallucination. you. I couldn't save Lily from the fire. I failed everyone. That's not true, Sebastian. There was no fire to save her from. You know this now. But I couldn't protect her. How could you? Mobius are a force of nature. What you're doing, it's like blaming yourself for an earthquake. It wasn't your fault. You have to stop torturing yourself. You're a good man, Sebastian. That's why I married you. And this time, 
You can save her. There are too many forces against you. You have to stay strong. Don't let the past defeat you. I forgive you. And Lily will too. But the most important thing is that you forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. She's right. She's always been right. Theodore uses my own guilt against me. But guilt for what? It's their fault, not mine. They took everything from me. I didn't start any of this, but I'm gonna finish it. And God help anybody that stands in my way. Wake up, Sebastian! Oh. What? Hoffman? What happened? She brought you here. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I try to save her, but... No. I shot her. The bullet wound was superficial. She died from injuries sustained in a battle with those things. Damn it. She didn't have to die like that. She was a good soldier. She just wanted to save Lily. And now she's dead. It's all my fault. Again. No, Sebastian. It's not your fault. Don't let him do this to you. You're right. That goddamn son of a bitch. This is what he wants. <sighs>